All right, for today's project, we got this old uh, Costco tabletop. It's about three or four years old, and the finish on it is pretty much gone. It's completely failed in spots. We've got chipping all the way through to the coloring. We've got, uh, I don't know what these are, water spots, I think, all, the, all over the place. A lot of raised grain, um, very deep scratches throughout. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is to take sandpaper and just sand through the clear finish and all the way to the grain. And I think this is a fairly thick veneer I can I can't really tell, but I think it's a fairly thick veneer on it, so we don't. It's not going to be too easy to sand all the way through. So sand all this down, color match it the best I can, and then just get a couple couple layers of poly on it on top. So I'm going to use my uh, orbital sander on this. We'll start with a fairly aggressive grit just to get through the remaining, uh, whatever remains of the finish. And then uh, hopefully I don't uh, destroy this tabletop. So it'll either end up looking really good or it'll end up in the trash. So let's get started. Getting a lot of this old finish gumming up on the sandpaper. We're gonna have to figure out a different option here. Maybe go in with something more aggressive. I don't know. So this is working a lot better take the finish off and then I think I can hit it with the 220 again once the finish is off and it'll stop gumming up this finer sandpaper but this rough stuff is working a lot better just to get this old finish off <laughs> I think using the more aggressive sandpaper worked pretty good, but um, it is pretty dangerous if this was a very thin veneer, but I think it's it's pretty thick. So I think we lucked out there, but it cut through the old uh, poly that was on top that was totally failed. So, and now we're down to the actual wood grain with some stain on it. And then we could use the finer sandpaper to cut through the stain and you just get a consistent um, coloring throughout and then we can restain and repoly. So I'll clean all this up and then I'll switch back to the finer sandpaper and then we'll get through all this stain. So let's, let's get to that. All right. So I finished sanding as much as I'm brave enough to do because this definitely is a veneer and I got a little too aggressive on the edges here and burned right through the veneer into this MDF type material so um, I'm glad I noticed that early and uh, eased off a little bit so yeah not totally perfect but I think it'll do we've got a dark stain to put on it uh, I think it'll hide a lot of the unevenness of everything so let's uh, let me show you the just got some Minwax um, espresso I think they'll match I think they'll match that pretty good. I think that's fairly close color match. All right, let's uh, let's put a, some stain on this.
All right, so we got the first coat of uh, stain on, and I think it's a pretty darn good match to these sides. It looks really good. So we'll let this dry overnight, and then we'll come back, and we'll do our first coat of some uh, satin poly. And I think I'll do two coats of that. I think we'll do one coat and sand it down and do one more coat. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, over here where I burned through the veneer, uh, it's hiding it pretty good. So we'll do our poly tomorrow, and it should, it should look pretty dang good. All right, so it's the next day, and it's dried pretty good. There's some shiny spots on it, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to do one coat tonight of some of this uh, clear satin poly on top. We're just gonna brush it on with a, with a cheap brush and it'll probably get a lot of bubbles in it and then we'll sand it tomorrow and do one more coat and then that should be pretty smooth. Um, important thing to remember with this stuff is you need to actually mix it really well. Um, the stuff that makes it a satin finish is a mix-in and it settles to the bottom. You gotta make sure you mix it all up and get, get that stuff off the bottom and into the entire solution. And never shake it right before you're gonna use it. Um, that puts a lot more bubbles into it and then just a lot more sanding that you have to do after. So always stir nice and slow and stir off the bottom because you wanna get all of that stuff that settled out back into, back into the solution. So let's get going on this. Feel it at the bottom, and here's that. Here's the stuff that settles to the bottom, and this is the actual. I don't know what it is, but it gives it the satin finish. If you just open it up and just start coating it with whatever is on the top, you'll get a very glossy finish. So you want to make sure you mix until you don't feel any of that stuff on the bottom or the sides. And as you mix, it'll start dissolving back in. Alright, well, I think I was able to salvage that. That was an absolute disaster. I was trying to be super careful, climbing around to get on the back there, and I knocked over that half can of poly all over the place, and I, then I just had way too much on that one. I was trying to get some off of there, put it over here as quickly as I can, and that didn't go very smooth. I think I have a lot of sanding in my future. This is not the best application um, poly that I've ever done. So, all right, we'll see how this dries up, but I think, yeah, I'm going to get the sandpaper, sandpaper ready. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, as I suspected, this, this first coat is total garbage. So we're going to sand this down with some 220 and then get one more coat and that second coat should look a lot better. Right, so we got our last coat on here and uh, uh, we got some weird inconsistencies with the sheen on here 
as you can tell, some parts are shiny, some parts are the satin that it should be. I don't know if I just didn't mix it very well, even though I thought I did pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this cutting compound from Meguiar's and a random orbital buffer. And we're going to try to buff this to a consistent sheen. So this should make it pretty shiny. Uh, it's equivalent to like a very fine in the thousands grit sandpaper. So let's see if we can buff this to at least some consistent look to it. And I think it, it should look pretty good. So the buffer wasn't quite giving me the effect that I was looking for, so I ended up using a non-woven um, sanding pad, kind of like a scotch pad, and just went over the entire tabletop with it, and it gave it a nice satin look to it. And after that, in combination of using the buffer pad, it kind of gave that clear satin look to the entire tabletop. And again, it's not perfect. I think there's a lot of mistakes that I made here, and if I had to do this again, I think it would turn out a lot better. Um, I don't think I let the, the stain dry enough before I applied the first coat of poly. And then just after that, everything was just downhill from there. But with the combination of that pad and polishing it at the end there, I think it came out okay. It looks a lot better than the old one did. It takes your eye away from just dinginess of it beforehand. So. We got it all assembled, got it back into our Airbnb, and I think it looks good. I think it's a more durable finish than what was on there when we bought it. So we'll see how it holds up. All right, everybody. Thanks, and we'll see you at the next one.